in india you have you don't have like startup solution but you have jugaad solutions working in india and we are we are proud of our jugaads and solving for that so the prom statement in india is very different from an insurance perspective versus the rest of the world what we understood is uh, people don't perceive these risk as uh, as we see maybe we see it on the newspaper ad or something some fire accident happened in this particular area and then we we get that uh, uh, knowledge of the numbers uh, but the people the actual shop owner does not perceive the risk as is right now the problem in our market in india is there are a lot of plot platforms that tell you that okay buy this buy that but they don't tell you the reasoning behind that that uh, india is the right market and it has different players in the sme space uh, people are doing different things and we have this in all over the domain be the logistics manufacturing or a simple resale uh, but the awareness is the critical part and the, that's the challenging aspect that we are dealing with right now uh, on the business front the penetration is less than like 1% that's super super low right uh, and give our our nearest developed counterparts are you know way way above that uh, so we have not even started we have not even scratched the surface you are you're able to purchase the motor insurance online right with few steps taking it clicks of your vehicle etc right so business insurance is uh, pretty complex in a sense that you're evaluating the risk of the business uh, in every sense that if i'm evaluating a particular factory i should know how much stock it is you know uh, storing and what kind of chemicals it is and what location it is situated at how far it is from a water body welcome to star of star media spotlight your go to source for content on startups tech and innovation in india today we've got a special treat for you as we dive into insurance realm the insurance industry plays a pivotal role in mitigating risks and providing peace of mind to individuals businesses and communities worldwide today we are joined by some esteemed guests who aren't just the co-founders of coverzy but are also revolutionizing the insurance industry we discuss many significant aspects of insurances challenges that towards the has faced in this insurance sector not only that but also we had an in-depth discussion around the significance of insurance for startups and smes without further ado let's get you to the interview Hey guys, today we have with us Mr. Ankit Kamra and Mr. Veera Thota, the co-founders of Curve. It's an absolute pleasure to have you both, both of us with today. Hey Swani, hi. So we'd like to commence hey. the interview by delving into your role as a co-founder, Mr. Ankit. Uh, could you provide insight into your uh, educational background, uh, professional experiences, and strategic path you traversed to establish yourself in this industry? uh particularly in relation to your venture coverzy so i carry about a decade plus experience in fintech payments and lending um i've started my career with hdfc bank uh, prior to that my educational background is uh, in computer science uh, computers application to be very precise and then i have done an mba um last couple of years uh, went into building a couple of startups some of the names you might have heard about uh, carbon card which provides corporate credit cards to um, startups in india then flash cash it was a pay day lending company where i uh, i was a co-founder and then plum uh, as a founding member uh, the health insurance company not the skin care brand and then to found coverzy uh, well that's intriguing it shows that you have put all your experiences that you have gained throughout in coverzy as well and uh, moving forward with veera thoda can you tell us about your professional background and education experiences yeah so uh, i've been in the software development industry for almost 14 plus years i've been working as a tech lead and an engineering manager in my recent job state i was working as an engineering manager at resape looking at the back end engineering teams so i have almost 5 to 6 years experience into the fintech industry and then i want to do something on my own and uh, luckily i found ankit and we get started with our z the insurtech business well that's 
well that's amazing and moving forward with the interview uh, we would like you to address our audience and acknowledge the profound impact of experiencing the first hand pain that arises from leaving your business vulnerable to known risks right undoubtedly it um, exacts a toll on both the mental well being and financial stability doesn't it so how did you navigate this journey of learning from your own trials and tribulations to ensure that coersy remains attuned to evolving risk and trends within the dynamic startup ecosystem uh, thus empowering it to serve its client more effectively starting with you mr ankit i think it comes from a personal pain point um i founded this startup or sorry i co i was a, one of the co-founders at uh, flash cash when i was bringing this uh, china business to india uh, in a fresh entity in perspective um since this was my first time starting something from scratch i was fairly new to the entire um, startup and the private limited world um the nuances of signing each and every document where do you put your sign on really comes with heavy responsibilities and even if one agreement of sorts go wrong there are a lot of liabilities that you as uh, as a founder has to take care of uh, and personally a lot of things can go wrong Uh, no matter what your intentions were at that point in time, unless you can prove it otherwise in the court of law, you are deemed guilty. I think that's how our Indian um, legal systems are, uh, you know, bound to uh, see the person. Um, and I actually had to pay a lot from my own pocket to get out of those. Uh, back then, if I would have known that such products exist, that could save me from a lot of legal liabilities, a lot of. Um, support that i can get from insurance companies or such events i would have definitely opted for that well you have experienced these things and that's why you implement, like implementing it on your own startup you're trying to cover everything that other startups have went through and you're trying to you know get through it and help others get through it and providing you through covers right so my same question is for you mr veera can you please elaborate on that so uh as looking into uh, other aspects of the businesses business posed several risks while i was working with uh, other payment companies i could see that a payment company some it, it could be some kind of a cyber threat uh, and then the company has to do uh, recover a lot of uh, the volumes or the transactions on its own without any support from the insurance but there are some of the products that are available in the market uh, where they could protect themselves from the threats uh, it could be cyber risk insurance uh, so i was very much keen into the product uh, but since i was coming to the sister uh, domain like fintech uh, i was exploring insurtech now with anpet well you have explained that how coverzy works also in some way because you have been adding on whatever problems that have been you know around this insurance uh, industry and you are trying to implement it on curve like through covers right so it's great that you are doing it's a great initiative in the insurance uh, realm uh, moving forward with the interview amidst the current landscape uh, covers emerges as a stand out player setting itself apart from the unparalleled services exp- expertise and value proposition could you please elaborate on how covers distinguishes itself within the realm of insurance policy uh for startups highlighting its unique approach in service delivery specialized expertise and compelling value proposition when compared to other insurance providers t- targeting the same market uh, mr veera targeting the same market uh, so uh, uh, we, we don't put lot of options on the table right now what we do is an advisory and we build a customized product insurance product for the startup that's what is our specialization which means that we understand the customer better from uh, 360 degrees view of the business like how much business volumes they're doing what are the threats are posed to the business understanding these uh, you know points about the business this will put a as in a better shape when we are talking to an insurance company and get a better product out for the customer yeah that makes sense because covering up around the landscape and uh, trying to cover up all the uh, possibilities is very significant in this industry uh, my same question is for mr mr ankit kamra can you please elaborate on that So um, I'll take a couple of steps backwards. Um, India is a very uh, complex market, right? Uh, 
So if you see from 2015 to where we are in 2024, a lot of startups tried popping ideas from the West or ideas from other geographies and um, tried working in India, but that didn't really work out or flagged off that well. Because um, our uh, our economy is different. In India, you have you don't have like startup solution, but you have Jugaad solutions working in India. We are we are proud of our Jugaads and solving for that. So the problem statement in India is very different from an insurance perspective versus the rest of the world. Um, India, or at least you know the business owners perceive insurance as a push product, and it's much hell. It still is a push product. Uh, what we realized from a pain point perspective was at least from B two B perspective, uh, the problem is not in um, you know what product you want to buy. Right, the problem really starts with understanding. the perceived threat of your business versus how it can impact you personally so we started with these broad two statements and reverse engineered our entire journey to build our uh, you know product around these two line items uh, our platform allows you to understand the perceived threats and risks and then map those perceived threats and risks to the right products in the market not just that we also tell you which insurer you should technically go ahead and buy it from because we also do insurer analysis on uh, <clears throat> which products are better from which insurers uh, what's their claim success rate going on what are other market relevant factors which you as a customer should know about before making that informed decision so that's how we are trying to solve for um, better buying process um, awareness and uh, simplifying the entire journey Uh, other pieces that we are trying to build as a dna in the company is uh, simplify as much as you can in the most basic layman language so that customer is able to grasp smaller pieces or bits and pieces of information to the best of their knowledge uh, yeah i think that's how we are doing it yeah well that makes sense can you give any particular or significant example that uh, you know has all these steps that you just mentioned that could help our uh, you know audience understand it better so um just to simplify things for the audience think of someone i don't know like think of someone traveling to kashmir right you know where you have to travel right once you know the destination you will make the arrangements accordingly you let's say you also know what kind of budget do you have then you will select the right property you will select a five star property four star property and from once his perspective let's say i'm a i'm a person that likes bathtubs so i'll probably prefer a room with bathtub now in business insurance you don't have all of these options customer is just blind they don't know what are their perceived risk they don't know what are their perceived threats they don't know their end destination what product they would like to buy right now the problem in our market in india is there are a lot of platforms that tell you that okay buy this buy that but they don't tell you the reasoning behind that why you should buy it when is the right time to buy it with whom you should buy it should you buy directly from insurance company or should you buy it via a broker that's how i think from a very basic perspective is what we are trying to solve we are trying to tell you what your destination is which room you should buy whether you should buy a sea facing room or a country like city side view room whether you should buy a five star or a four star all of these factors are taken uh, into consideration while preparing a recommendation widget uh, from a solutions perspective so yeah that actually makes sense because it is covering all the steps that you mentioned and it helps how the customers like the customer dealings also very you know in elaborated way and helping the customers know better for them instead of just you know telling them what you can do and just uh, go around the bush telling them in detail is something that you provide right so your website also has uh, you know specifically mentioned this that you are you know looking forward to help this more smes or startups that are you know in the major risk of the insurance and they are not very you know well versed with it because they are more focused on how they should build on their company then focus on the insurance industry right that that is also very significant for their company right uh, those small and medium sized enterprise owners and startup founders are particularly interested in setting insurance options that offer flexibility without exorbitant costs as they intend to allocate their resources towards business growth um in this context how does covers insure it delivers valuable insurance uh, recommendations 
tailored for startups specifically how does coverzy anticipate risk ahead of employer customized approach according to their unique nature of each startup not only fostering growth but also safeguarding against potential challenges mr ankit i think um, to answer that we will need to dwell down into um, our country as um, uh, i i forgot who said that statement right i i think it was uh, geos Uh, chairman mr mukesh amani who said that the data will be the new oil so we are living in a world which is full of data um you know you have open feeds you have so much of data present around you that right now you don't need like to really call someone to understand where they are coming from right let's say for me as a customer to know what your organization is doing all i need to tap into these open feeds to understand what sort of business you are in what sort of sector you are coming from and what geography you belong to that really simplifies the understanding of user persona in my mind and in my systems uh, internally to help you recommend these right products now unlike a health insurance which is a very standard product you have standard terms and conditions business insurance is entirely different ball game where each and every product has to be customized for um you know like each business and from there on you take the journey forward once you tell them that these are the customizations uh, recommended for your business tailored to your needs and this is why you should buy it so from sme perspective um right now you know there are about uh, 6 million plus smes in india a large chunk of them are un- like not insured um and overall general insurance penetration in india stands less than 1% as we speak so there's huge opportunity for someone to tap into this uh, you know open market well of course that makes sense because in india it is a complex market and someone who survives in it obviously makes through throughout the world because i think the most diversity stays there and the diversity that has to be cracked in the insurance industry as well where there are cer- like certain competitors not only in private sector but government as well so you need to make sure that you are covering all the aspects of every realm that is offered in the industry right so my question is same for you mr veera can you elaborate on it let me start with the uh, sme uh, small businesses the interactions we had with Uh, so there are several category of uh, SMEs that we have in India. It could be a small shop on, on the street. It could be a small company who's doing deliveries within the city. Right. So uh, it it could be a manufacturing unit who is which might be doing and uh, as small as probably small fireworks or other these kind of things. So the risk is perceived in different layers. For logistics player, we see that it could be accidental risk or the risk of the stock. Right. uh and at the same time if you look at a shop on the street then he might be holding some stock uh, which is there and the obvious vulnerability could be fire risk right so when we are interacting with these smes what we understood is uh people don't perceive this risk as uh as we see maybe we see it on the newspaper ad or something some fire accident happened in this particular area and then we we get that uh uh knowledge of the numbers uh but the people the actual shop owner does not perceive the risk as is one one example is that we had a chat with a shop owner antique shop owner at brigade road in bangalore and he is holding a stock uh, of almost like 40 to 50 lakhs of stock and when we are having this discussion of, about uh a fire insurance then it was clear he thinks that fire accident might not happen to his shop uh yeah fortunately or unfortunately we don't think that we are all optimists that it might not be we don't uh, you know see the risk happening to us uh, but the numbers suggest the other way it's better to be covered and the affordability is also if you take a fire insurance which is some insured is up to 10 to 15 lakhs then you get a policy within the range of 3 to 4000 per annum so it it's completely affordable in a sense that uh, india is the right market and it has different players in the sme space uh, people are doing uh, different things and we have this in all over the domain be the logistics manufacturing or a simple resale 
but the awareness is the critical part and the, that's the challenging aspect that we are dealing with right now of course creating awareness about anything that needs to be you know at a very uh, alerting point insurance for like you have mentioned there are so many startups there are not only startups that have huge investments but there are startups that have even small investments they matter and these awareness for such insurance companies is very crucial for them right so uh, talking about challenges also i would like what either of you can answer that uh, there is this penetration rate that you have in an insurance uh, sector this in the insurance industry so low penetration rate how does it affect your company or how does it affect the awareness is that you are trying to create around this uh, industry holistically um so there are two three kind of uh, penetration um, that the industry tracks one is life insurance penetration rate that technically go goes for all the life insurance policies that are being sold in india second thing is your non life uh, insurance penetration which combines uh, business insurance liability insurance uh, property and casualty insurance specialized policy motor and health so all of this combined together are uh, uh, you can say clubbed into a non life insurance and there there is a third which is like a amalgamation of these two which is your industry uh, level penetration so these are the three metrics that industry tracks for us why the uh, penetration rate is important is the matter is because uh, one uh, it just gives you a broad overall indicator where the industry stands right um, <clears throat> so let's say if you know we would have been uh, a mature market you know the penetration would have been like somewhere around 10% then you don't need to solve for awareness customers are aware about the problem there are these significant numbers that show some proof of uh, uh, proof of substance that there is some something that the customer is aware about we don't need to start from scratch right now in india uh, on the business front the penetration is less than like 1% that's super super low right uh, and you are our, our nearest developed counterparts are you know way way above that Uh, so we have not even started. We have not even scratched the surface. So technically, from that perspective, the idea would be to start the journey uh, like from the very scratch. You start with, you know, putting out small bite bite-sized content that consumer is able to digest. Uh, once you do that, then you explain them the logic why this bite-sized content is related to your life, your personal experiences. You know, think of. think of a mom and pop store or owner uh in his market there might be a fire incident that has happened so can we put out some content or can we push out some content that's more focused about their sector let's say he was running a clothes store why clothes store are more for the fire than the other uh grocery stores right for example so those relevant key points once you are able to explain it to the end customers they are un- they are able to understand and they get that and from there you tell them that boss for something so silly you have uh, uh, you know insurance available and it just costs like pennies you might even end up spending 4000 rupees on a restaurant on one time purchase of a meal along with your family versus this 4000 can actually get you 15 20 lakhs of uh, fire insurance for your shop which is more like an annual payment so this is why uh, these you know numbers broad numbers are relevant and it tells you the exact starting point from where you would like to start your journey from well of course the relevance of such rates is to be you know made uh, aware about people need to be aware about it because when we are talking about insurance it's something that someone if somebody starting any startup this first thing that they need security about it so of course insurance plays a crucial role there Moving forward, your team has acknowledged the inflexibility of many insurance providers in keeping pace with ever-evolving dynamics of the industry. Simply embracing digitization isn't adequate. Hence, what emerging trends do you anticipate in the startup insurance landscape, and how is Coverzi adjusting its offerings to proactively address these trends, Mr. Vira? So, some of the journeys we've been thinking about is, uh, you know. Uh, 
today if you look at the motor insurance uh, you are you're able to purchase the motor insurance online right with few steps taking it clicks of your vehicle etc right so business insurance is uh, pretty complex in a sense that you're evaluating the risk of the business uh, in every sense that if i'm evaluating a particular factory i should know how much stock it is you know uh, storing and what kind of chemicals it is and what location it is situated at how far it is from a water body how far it is from actual fire production station right so uh, what we are trying to do is uh, create an a journey uh, where we evaluate certain parameters automatically by taking input from a company be it the gst number say i have the gst number of the company then i can uh, obviously get the revenues the location and certain details about the company so that the the customer does not need to enter all these details on his own and say tomorrow you are adding a pin code or a location where you put up then uh, geographically we can see how far you are located from a water body and what is the perceived risk right so these are some of the value adds that we are thinking about to bring in so that the customer does not need to key in all these details but we still get the 360 degrees view of the customer how he is situated and how he is faring with his risks uh, so so uh, all in all what we are trying to do is you key in the basic or the minimal details of your of your business and then uh, we get this information from the available systems and then we complete the risk analysis for you and if needed you can go and edit some of this analysis on your own saying that how much content or what kind of stock you are holding etc which is not reported anywhere on your data systems and then you can get a quote and purchase the insurance right so that's the value add from the course well that's significant value add because when you are a part of a insurance industry you need to make sure that you providing everything to your customer that comes to you you know because they are not only there for just get they're getting the insurance they need to be covered in every aspect uh, irrespective of the type of startup or type of business they are uh, you know handling so bringing this interview to conclusion my last question is for you mr ankit how does covers ensure effective follow up in the event of any challenges or mishaps faced by a startup what process does covers have in place to ensure that insurance claims are effectively filed and proce- proceeded i think uh, everything can be solved by information uh, how do we address this problem at our organization is the more information you have about the processes of across the insurance companies or do they follow the more simple it will be for you to visualize uh, product journeys that are more tailored for your end audience uh, and that's where we come in from from an expertise perspective we have actually gone ahead and analyzed you know claims data from the industry um tons and tons of data and realized that there are some common factors and processes and flows that are required for someone to before even they uh, you know uh, initiate their claim journey are required to be done for example uh, there is like an hygiene list which is required for a business owner to maintain as a part of maintaining a business like a person who owns a shop needs to display his shop establishment certificate on the face he needs to display his gstin number very clearly right um similarly for a fire insurance when you are buying a particular fire insurance for a shop you have made some declarations that okay i have assets worth 50 lakhs in my shop now in an unfortunate incident of uh, a fire or some other mishap uh eventually before even you know making a claim to the com- to the insurance company you need to prove the worth of whatever assets you have right because insurance and the entire financial industry works on a one basic fundamental principle which is called principle of good faith even while opening a bank account you don't declare that okay i have ill intentions of using this bank account to rotate money right you don't do that similarly every financial product that's being sold anywhere in the world takes into account of principle of good faith so whatever you de- declare insurance company buy it as it is the moment any mishap happens they'll be like okay you declared that you had goods worth or assets worth 50 lakhs and under that you need to show that breakup let's say one surveyor comes in he figures out that okay goods were not of 50 lakhs it was of 1 crore right so you were trying to save in on the premium just cause you declared your goods uh, on a lesser value 
So eventual premium also for your 50 lakh insurance, you have paid for a 50 lakh insurance, not for 1 crore. So the claims that will eventually come out will be also on a pro rata basis, 50% discount, because eventually your declaration was not up to the mark. Because the moment the assessor will come and see all those documents, whatever you have, it will not show the value of what you have declared. That's one. Second is hygiene checklist. You should have everything that you're purchasing from a business point of view uh, in order. Digital copies, physical copies, however you keep it, all the costs should be there. Because eventually that's the base value that, uh, you know, the surveyor will take into account while managing your claim. And other than that, there are like, there are these five, six pointers that needs to be there before even we go to an insurer. So we make sure from a process point, uh, simplify all of those things for the business owner or the founder or any other stakeholder that, okay, these are the 10 things that you require. This is how the document should be in order. This is how this document will flow to the insurance company. This is the amount of time it will take for you to process the claim. And this is the tracking mechanism or escalation mechanism that has been put into place in case, you know, we are facing troubles with it. So we have set up a very elaborate process for claim so that we build trust uh, uh, around claims as well, right? And the insurance industry is known for not, like there are bad experience of some that spoils uh, the experience for everyone and eventually even future prospects. So we're trying to change that by simplifying a lot of things that claims as well. Well, that's a very, you know, difficult task because in India, when they have this mindset, you ha- it takes a long time to, you know, rectify it. Uh, even about uh, the in- insurance industry, that was absolutely correct. There are certain incidents that people have, you know, kept in their mind uh, and they have a scenario about it and they are not, they're very rigid to change that. So any awareness regarding this, especially for the young entrepreneurs who are, you know, starting their own journeys and it's very significant for them to be aware of the insurance industry and how it works and Pawarzi is doing an exuberant job with that and congratulations to you guys on such a great initiative. It's doing amazing and the Pawarzi itself is, you know, providing everything that is a customized, you know, a customized insurance claims and everything. The steps are so uh, elaborative and, you know, ensures how trustworthy this company is and uh, thank you so much thank for you. your time as well uh, uh, good luck with your future endeavors and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, episode of the startup story spotlight thank you thank you thank you